As you can see in the diagrams to the right, percent by mass represents the total mass of each element in a compound. Here we have two different pie charts representing two different ionic compounds. Each ionic compound has a polyatomic ion in it. The ionic compound to the left is called potassium chromate, while the ionic compound to the right is called potassium dichromate. We know that these compounds have different names, different formulas, and different physical and chemical properties. They also have different percent compositions by mass. Hi class, welcome to lesson 36. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to calculate percent composition by mass of elements in compounds and the percent composition of water in hydrated compounds. Percent by mass of an element represents how much of the total mass of the compound is contributed by each element. Percent composition by mass directly relates to how we classify different types of matter. Matter that is a pure substance which includes either an element or a compound has a uniform percent composition by mass. That means the percent composition by mass never varies. Elements are only made up of one type of atom. All elements are 100% composition by mass of their element. Compounds have different percent compositions by mass. We know that when the formula changes, so does the name, the properties, and the percent composition by mass. This is not true for mixtures. Mixtures, the particles are not chemically combined. So each component can vary. That is why a mixture of ocean water in the Dead Sea, although it has more salt per water, is still called salt water, just like a mixture of salt and water in the Atlantic Ocean. Again, in mixtures, the percent composition can vary. Percent by mass of a compound is defined by an equation found on reference table T. That means you don't need to memorize it. It is the mass of the part or the element in the compound divided by the mass of the whole or the entire gram formula mass of the compound. Let's look at this example where we are asked to find the percent of oxygen by mass in one mole of water. Recall that a mole is just a standard amount in chemistry, and if it confuses you, take it out and answer the question. When we apply a percent by mass formula, we divide the mass of oxygen, 16, by the total mass of water, 18. This gives us a percent by mass of oxygen of 88.9. So in this example, we are asked to find the percent by mass of fluorine in aluminum fluoride. So basically we're asking, in this ionic formula unit, how much of the mass is attributed from these three fluorine ions? Now, in the previous lesson, we calculated the gram formula mass of aluminum fluoride. We can use this information to help us find the percent by mass of fluorine in aluminum fluoride. So essentially, we're looking for the mass of our three fluorines and dividing it by the total mass of the compound times 100. Using the numbers that we got in the previous lesson, that means we're going to have to go and divide 57 by the total mass of 84 and multiply times 100. So here you can see that our calculator gives us an answer of 67.9%.
if we wanted to find the percent by mass of aluminum, we could make the fraction 27 divided by 84, or we could simply subtract from 100. Now let's look at the example where we try and find the percent by mass of sodium in sodium sulfate. So we have this formula here, so we're trying to find how much mass do these two sodium ions contribute towards the mass of the entire substance. So in order to answer this, we're going to take the mass of two sodiums here, which we know is 46, divided by the mass of the entire substance times 100. Because again, this is the mass of two sodiums over the entire ion. Placing this in our scientific not graphing calculator, we get that the percent by mass of sodium in sodium sulfate is 32.4%. Notice how, since we are rounding to the tens place, we examine the hundreds place to determine how to round. The seven tells us to round up. In this last and final example, we were asked to find the mass of calcium in a compound or formula unit of calcium nitrate. In this formula, there is only one calcium. So what we're asked to find is the percent by mass of calcium in entire calcium nitrate. So based on our gram formula mass work in the previous lesson, Calcium's mass from the reference table rounded to the tenths place is 40.1 divided by the mass of 164.1 times 100 to get the percent by mass of calcium. And our calculator gives us a final percent by mass of 24.4%. Here's a final practice regions question for us to try together. In this question, we are asked to find which species contains the greatest percent by mass of hydrogen. Here, we'll take the mass of hydrogen in each species divided by the total mass of the particles. So here you can see that in the first particle, we have one hydrogen and total mass of 17. You can see all of the mathematics we use here on the right. So when we're answering this question, we're simply looking for the greatest value. This concludes lesson 36. Make sure you've taken good notes, you complete your homework on Google Classroom, and bring your questions to class. See you soon.